Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha Devarim, Moshe recounts the travels of the Jews throughout their 40-year journey in the desert, and that is why we will make a beautiful sand art desert scene. Here are the supplies we will need. The printed camel template, scissors, a black fine-tipped acrylic marker, disposable gloves, blue and orange gel food coloring, a small cup or funnel, a four ounce container with a cover, about two and a half cups of sand, five bowls or containers, and lastly, liquid glue. Let's begin. Cut out the strip of camels from the template. Did you know that Hashem made camels in a way that they could handle the desert climate? Although this is true, it is unknown whether or not the Yidin had or rode on camels in their travels through the desert. Wrap the strip around the container so the camels go around it once, cutting off whatever goes past this point. Slip the paper inside the container and position it wherever you like the image placed. Use a black acrylic marker with a fine tip to carefully trace the scene onto the outside of the container. It is not mentioned anywhere in Chumash that the Yidin had camels during this time, though there may be a Mephorish that says they did. But we've got camels over here since they strongly symbolize the desert, which is where the Yidin traveled through for 40 years. They were tired and weakened by the many struggles they had dealt with during this long journey. It was hard to face the future with a smile. When you're finished tracing, take the paper out, do any touch-ups necessary, and let the wet marker dry. Next, pour about one cup of sand into a bowl or container. This will be dyed orange. Divide the remaining one and a half cups of sand into four other bowls or containers. One should remain as is, and the other three will be dyed different shades of blue. Make sure to put on disposable gloves so your hands don't turn colors. Dye the first container orange by adding three drops of gel food coloring and mixing well with your hands. Next, squeeze three drops of blue coloring into the second container, two drops into the third, and one drop into the fourth. Mix each container well until the color is distributed evenly amongst the sand. Now comes the artistic part. Use a small cup or funnel to slowly pour orange sand and non-colored sand into the container in layers. The idea is to create layers of mountains following the curve of the camels to know where it makes sense for each mountain to be. How could the Yidin possibly find comfort after their long, tiring trek? Here's an example to answer this question. Imagine you are learning how to swim. It feels scary because you don't know how to keep yourself afloat in the water. The first time in the water might feel daunting, but once your teacher teaches you a few new skills, you can slowly relax, becoming more comfortable in the water. At last, after many months of trying, failing, then trying again, you finish the lessons and you're nearly an expert swimmer. Looking back at all the challenges, you realize that to learn this new skill, you had to overcome all these difficulties to reach the end goal. In a similar fashion, although the Jewish people experienced many challenges throughout their travels, each of these obstacles was in truth part of the goal of preparing them to enter Eretz Yisrael. And this was what Moshe had in mind when he began to recount all of their travels. He was showing them that from the very beginning Hashem put each challenge in place to prepare and ready them to finally reach the land of Israel. The difficulties they experienced were real, but once they saw the deeper purpose in them, they were able to appreciate having gone through them. Next, slowly pour in the various shades of blue sand to create the sky. Sprinkle the colors in thin layers to create more interesting scenery with a variety of hues. The word Torah comes from the word Hora'a, which means a lesson. This means that every single part of the Torah is here to teach us something in our own lives. We can apply this idea here too. We can learn from this Parsha that even though we can't take away the pain of hard experiences, we can realize that they are part of a bigger plan, a higher goal. Hashem gives us challenges to help us reach the best version of ourselves. Take a moment to think of a challenging event in your life. What was something you may have gained from that difficult time that helped you later on? This type of question generally requires a lot of thinking, so take your time to mull over it. Once the entire container is full, let it set for 5 minutes. Then fill the top with a layer of glue to seal in the sand. Close the cover tightly. Lastly, use your trusty acrylic marker to draw little circles for the heads of people sitting on the camels. Enjoy traveling through the sandy desert on one of the mini camels you just created. And if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. We can't wait to see you next week at our Parsha studio.